Hey guys, Big Guy here. Back at you with another video. Glad to be back to making videos. I uh, misplaced my phone twice, so it took a while for me to get it back the first time, only to misplace it again. And now that I got it back, hey, since we were in this Thanksgiving uh, holiday and I was out and about and I saw a lot of bad accidents, I figured, you know what, since I'm back to making videos, now would be a good time to get this video up. Well, this took place back in uh, September 23rd on a Saturday. I was headed to US 41 drag strip going southbound and uh, two vehicles passed me up along the way going at a astronomical speed and I'm meaning well past the speed limit. And it seemed like they were doing well over a hundred. Well, this car here, as you see, that was on fire as the gas station attendant was trying to put out the fire here with a fire extinguisher. That was a Chrysler 300C with a Hemi. And the guy in that Chrysler 300C, four occupants, four white young males, they were going real fast. My God, they were speeding. So the second vehicle was this uh, Chevy four-door pickup truck that was right behind them. And that's him pulling up now, getting ready to put it in reverse. You know, they were all friends and they were all headed to uh, US 41. So when they passed me up driving as fast as they were going, I said, man, they're going to have an accident just getting to the drag strip. I kind of figured that's where they were headed. But we got, they got ahead of me, at least by two miles. And they came to the intersection where this gas station sits on the southwest side of US, uh, US 41 headed south. And uh, it was a car, another car, a white car that was coming up from the south trying to make a left-hand turn going west. And that 300C collided with that car and he hit her head on. He hit her head on and sent her car back south tumbling with such impact on the front end that he, he knocked and rocketed her motor right out of her car. And for where her car stopped, that thing rocketed down the highway at least an eighth or maybe less than a half of a, a quarter mile, you know. So that thing was gone. And I didn't even know it. I hadn't even paid it no mind because I was too big, busy focused on the 300C. I thought it was the only car that was in an accident. And I'm looking at it and I'm looking at the fire and, you know, I didn't even look ahead of me or look further down to see another car. So as you see, the first responders got there. They blocked off the highway, so you couldn't go any further south from that gas station. And the fire department got there. They did a wonderful job putting out the fire, as you can see. But slowly but surely, there were other people coming to the gas station that was coming up from the south, headed north on US-41, and they was piling into the gas station, all talking about what they were seeing from their motor being down the way. And they saw that car and then they come up to where the 300C was sitting. And they're talking and exchanging information. And as you can see now, this is as it was a Ford, four-door white vehicle. And as you can look at the front, you see the subframe. So when I really come along and I notice this car, I said, oh my God, there was another car involved with this. I said, these idiots hit another car. And I didn't know it. And you, as you can see, that's the subframe in the front. I thought, it was something that the fire department had put on to the car to use the jaws of life. And because I saw the one, the one fireman, he was linked up on it or doing something with it with the jaws of life. So I figured that's, they had attached that to the car. I couldn't find out that was a subframe. And it was three occupants in this vehicle. It was two teenage girls and a adult uh, lady. And they managed to get them all out and they were alive when they got out. So I didn't know the type of injuries that they had taken, who, you know, none of us knew, but I was just hoping it wasn't life threatening from the type of accident that they was involved with. But as you can see, the motor in that car is gone. That kid hit that car so hard with such impact that he just knocked the motor right out. And I couldn't believe it when those ladies told me no, the motor's further down the highway. That's why we stopped. We saw the motor on the highway, and we were wondering what was going on. As you can see the motor, then you come, you see the white car, then you come, you see where that one car is all burnt up. I said, man, they were going that fast and collided with that car and knocked the motor out. Well, that was that lady that was driving 
that white uh, Ford, Ford or vehicle. And they got the other two people out and they took them in separate ambulances. It was three ambulances that showed up and they managed to take them away. And you could hear them talking. I said, well, at least they're alive, you know. But whatever they sustained in injuries, we didn't know. But they all had on neck braces and they were pretty much strapped down on the gurneys. So, you know, I wished them well. And that's about all you could do. Hope that no one died. And because that, that, that's a horrific accident right there. But back to the occupants of the 300C, these guys, it was four of them in the car, and the owner of the car, I happened to meet his mother that was there, and I showed, I, I was telling her that I had to let the uh, Lake County police know how fast they were going when they passed me up. So I told her, I said, I didn't know how fast, but I said they were well over 100. She showed me an app that she clocked her son going 126 miles per hour. It was either 124 or 126 miles per hour. I told her, I said, ma'am, that car was going faster than that. I said, I go to the drag strip all the time and I see fast cars. But I said, this thing was moving. And that truck was just as fast right behind them. When I said, they went past my vehicle so hard that they rocked it. So as you can see, uh, the responders, the fire department, they were all working to try to get everyone out safely and get them to medical need. But the driver of the car, it wasn't even his car. The owner of the car let his friend drive. And one thing he mentioned to his mother, she said, you just don't realize when he bought that car, he said, man, you don't realize how fast this car is. She said she knew that that was a bad combination with him and that car, him still being as young as he was, having that type of a fast car. She said she knew something was gonna happen. And surely it did, but he wasn't the driver of the vehicle. He let his friend drive. And his friend sustained some type of injury to his arm when he got out the car. And they were all huddled up trying to get their story together. But I think this was the person on the passenger side they got out, the teenage girl. So I think she was the last one to get out. But man, you talk about the suspense. Because these girls went to really scream. They were so quiet at first, you didn't hear their screams. I guess they were all out cold from the impact. But because that car did roll, you know. But when they were conscious, they were screaming for dear life. You know, your heart went out for them. But as you can see now, the 300C has been, the fire had been extinguished. It was a Hemi. And it was a really nice car when I saw it coming and going past me. I mean, it was a nice looking car. As you see, it's not so now. And this is the point I'm making. With all these accidents that have happened this Thanksgiving holiday, you know, we got another ho another two holidays coming up with Christmas and New Year's Eve. And if you don't want to end up like these guys, think first before you get out there and start speeding beyond speeds you can handle. Try to keep your car within the uh, speed limit. And just be mindful of others that's out there, people that all of a sudden want to do a 1,000 miles per hour down the highway.